Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Friday, February 28, 2020. We got a free pick in the NBA coming up on this report. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. It's as simple as that. You just click on the link below the video to get yourself set up for the, uh, for the $60 uh, free account. Now, as far as what we've got going, first of all, housekeeping from last night, perfect 2 0 night with our premium picks, including another six star top underdog, uh, which was an outright win with Towson over Hofstra. Real nice. We were getting seven and a half. Uh, they win the game outright by double digits on the road. And uh, that's just another elite level top dog win uh, that followed up last Saturday's top dog release, which was another easy winner with Pepperdine plus the points over San Francisco. Uh, so, real good run with those. We're on a 68% uh, run with our last 22 plays overall. Uh, we also won in the NHL last night. I tell you what, we got a win is right back here on the free pick line. We lost last night. Let's get back in the win column with the free pick in the NBA, and I'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, first, a couple of quick notes. Uh, not much of a college basketball card as far as I'm concerned on Friday. So no college basketball free pick video. Also no college basketball premium picks. Just going to pass Friday. We'll wait till Saturday's big card. I do have a five-star play in the NBA. Go grab that 67% post all-star break in the NBA thus far. 60% post all-star break over the last decade. That's after the all-star break, right through the playoffs. That's how well we've done. We love this time of year and so far 67% this season post all-star all-star break. So a five-star play of the NBA posted at DocSports.com, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Anytime after that on Friday, you'll be able to go grab that. It'll also be uh, in action in the NHL. We won again last night. We had the San Jose Sharks, and they broke their losing streak as we thought they would. They got the win over New Jersey. So real nice run in the NHL right now. Also 80% short-term run in the NHL. All right. Also wanted to mention everything that's going on this weekend, besides what's going on on Friday, 11 p.m. Pacific time on on Friday night, I will have my UFC posted for Saturday's card. Uh, the last four cards, we've produced 23 units of profit, so you don't want to miss out on that. Saturday night by 11 p.m. Pacific, I'll have Sunday's NASCAR plays. We are perfect with our NASCAR plays so far for the first couple of races. We're now on runs of 16 and 4, our last 20 races, 23 and 7, our last 30 NASCAR races. Those will be up and available Saturday night, 11 p.m. Pacific time. And don't forget XFL. We are six and two, 75% so far with this league with premium and free picks combined. And here's what will happen. I'll have a, 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 my premium picks available Saturday morning at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific for this weekend. I'll have an XFL free pick video available early Saturday morning. So don't miss out on all of that. And of course, our videos for Saturday will be posted earlier than normal. We'll have them up on Friday night for Saturday's card. All right, enough of that. Let's get to the free pick and get a winner in the free pick uh, win column here on Friday night. It's the battle between the Nuggets and the Clippers. And we're looking at the total here, which is a little below 220 as we speak. And it moved a little bit to the under. We agree with that movement. We don't think that it's moved far enough. Listen, the, the, the first line that came out was around 220, and that was a low limit offshore. And, and so we, we see that total right now, and we're thinking it's still got room, uh, enough wiggle room, I guess you could say, uh, between where the total sits and where we like the total, because we don't think it's going to end up anywhere close as far as even within four or five points of that total by the time this game is said and done. I had Detroit and Denver under the last Denver contest a couple of days ago, and even though that total came down, we still cashed the under. It was close, but we cashed, and uh, the money still spins green, even when you class, uh, cash them close. Uh, what people think, you know, when I'm in casinos in Las Vegas over the last couple of years, including this year with Kawhi Leonard on board with the Clippers, they, they tend to think that if the Clippers are playing, it's going to be a high-scoring game. But here's the thing, man. These are two of the top 10 teams in defensive efficiency in the league. And the earlier meeting did see a total of 218 points scored between the two teams, but they did all that work in the first half. When well, these two teams got serious post-All-Star break, started playing for keeps, they combined to score just 100 points over the second half of that game. And, and, and it took three Clipper players to combine for more than 80 points uh, to even score that many points. So listen, I think it's going to be a lower scoring game than that total suggests. Uh, Denver comes into this one on a 7-1 under run as a road dog. 
dog. You got the Clippers, five and one under run the last six for what it's worth. And again, it's been an under series. So we're going to recommend an under on the battle between the Nuggets and the Clippers on Friday night of the NBA. And again, don't forget, we'll be right back here late Friday night with our free pick reports. We'll have multiple free pick reports from college basketball and potentially the NBA for Saturday. All available Friday night for Saturday's card. And again, go grab my NBA five-star play at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on Friday. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Friday in the win column right back here late Friday night with Saturday's card.